Hey, what's going on guys? So if you're new to this channel, in addition to doing YouTube videos and tutorials, I also create Udemy courses and I just finished my Node.js API masterclass course and ignore this price right here. I'm going to have a three day 999 promo and a 30 day 1399 promo in the description. Uh, so just ignore this 119. Now, this course is for anybody that wants to get into backend development with Node.js, Express, MongoDB, Mongoose, and a bunch of other packages. And what we're going to do is create a real world backend for a bootcamp directory application. So we'll have bootcamps, courses, reviews and ratings, users, authentication. It's a 12 hour course and it's a it's a single project. So it's kind of a deep dive uh, relative to to my other courses where we deal with Node.js. Um, so I just want to kind of go over it real quick and then I'm going to show you an example of the, the finished API. So we're going to start off by just kind of jumping into HTTP with the core Node HTTP module. Uh, we'll look at status codes, sending data to the server, HTTP methods and what a RESTful API is and stuff like that. Then we'll start on our project and we'll start off by just creating kind of a basic CRUD API with boot camps. We're going to use controller methods. I'll introduce you to middleware. We're going to um, deal with Postman and environments and collections. We're going to set up MongoDB Atlas as well as MongoDB Compass, which is the desktop utility. Uh, we'll be connecting to the database, creating our uh, first model, which will be the boot camp model. We'll create all of our routes to create just a basic CRUD API. Okay, once we do that, we're going to dive deeper into middleware, create a custom error handler, mongoose error handling, create middleware for a sync await. Um, then we're going to get into mongoose middleware, which is something I, I've never gone into in any of my courses to slugify, to do things like take the address and use a geocoder to get the coordinates and stuff like that, because we're actually going to be able to search boot camps by um, zip code. So you put a zip code and a radius of a certain amount of miles and it'll return those boot camps within that radius. Okay, then we're going to move on to uh, advanced querying and relationships between collections. We're going to build a database seeder so that we can quickly import and delete data from our database. We're going to implement server side pagination, sorting, Uh, all that stuff. Then we'll add our courses. Okay, so each boot camp will be able to have courses associated with it. We're going to deal with photo uploading, um, advanced results, middleware. And then these two sections are dedicated to authentication, users and permissions. So we're going to be able to authenticate with JSON web tokens and cookies. Uh, and then we're also going to have different roles. So we'll have, for instance, the user, um, a publisher, which can publish boot camps and then an admin. And we're going to have different ownerships. Obviously, you, we need to know who owns which boot camp or course so they can update, delete and all that stuff. We'll also have a forgot password feature where we'll generate a token and send an email. Uh, let's see, we're going to have reviews and ratings, API security, things like uh, preventing no SQL injections, cross-site script protection, rate limiting. We're going to install a bunch of security packages. And then finally, we're going to generate some documentation using Postman and a utility called DocGen and then deploy to DigitalOcean, add an SSL, set up Nginx. So quite a bit here. It's 12 hours long. And like I said, it's just one single project. So this is the end result. I have it up at devcamper.io. And for the index page, we actually have the documentation for the routes. So you can see here's the register route gives you an example of you know what you need in the headers as well as the body. So we just send the name, email, password and role and that will register a user. We have the login. We have the you know reset password, update details, all that stuff. Boot camps. So CRUD functionality. We can also get by distance. We can upload a photo courses, reviews, users, which are only available to admins. All right, so I just want to give you some examples of interacting with the API. So this is the collection we're going to create with all these different folders and resources. And um, using my production environment, which has a URL variable of devcamper.io. So that's where we're making requests. Also, when we log in, the token will get stored in this global variable as well. So we don't have to keep sending the token in the header. We can just go ahead and use the Postman authentication tab. So we're really going to learn quite a bit about the Postman client as well. 
So let's search all boot camps or get all boot camps. And you can see we have a count of four. And if there's any pagination, if we had more than this and there's only, you know, 10 per page, this pagination object would have the next and or previous in it as well. Um, and then for the data, we have the location. This is actually generated by the geocoder. So when we add a boot camp, we only add the the address, the one line address, and then the MapQuest API will get all this stuff for us. Okay, so it doesn't matter if you're in the US or another country, it'll get all the correct information, it'll get the coordinates and so on. We have the careers uh, that the boot camp offers, the name of the photo, housing, job assistance, description, name. So there's a bunch of fields here. We have the courses array here, uh, as well as the average cost of the courses going by the tuitions here. Uh, so we'll be doing quite a bit in terms of uh, in as terms of data and we're going to build a database seeder so that we can easily add and remove this stuff from the database. All right. So just want to show you we can get boot camps by distance. So if we go to slash radius slash zip code and then the number of miles, it'll actually get the boot camps that are, you know, 10 miles within this zip code, which is a Boston zip code. If I do, let's say 100 miles. We should get a couple more so you can see this one's in Rhode Island. Uh, we have one in Lowell, Mass. So we can search by radius. Now, if we go to authentication and log in as a user, you can see I already have John at Gmail here, who is a publisher. And if we send, you see we get back a response with a token. The token also gets put in the cookies. Okay, so the front end, you'll have the option to use cookies or use the, the JSON web token in the response. And in Postman, it also gets stored here in the global the global uh, token environment variable. So if I want to make a request to a protected route, like let's say this get logged in user, I can go ahead and we could send the header in the author, I'm sorry, the token in the authorization header, but we don't even need to do that because we have the global variable. So we can just select bearer token here and it uses that global variable. So I can go ahead and send and we get back the currently logged in user. Okay, if I choose no auth and I try to hit this route, it's not going to work because it's a protected route. So we'll be adding middleware for that. Um, in addition to that, will be ha will have roles. So for instance, if I go down to users and get all users now, even though I'm law, I'm currently using John Doe's token. If I send it doesn't work, it says user role publisher is not authorized to access this route because John Doe is a publisher and only admins can access these user routes. So what we can do is log in as an admin. So I'll go back here and just log in as admin. Okay, and there we go. So now we're logged in. And just to show you that we're logged in as admin, let's send this. And you can see we have the role of admin. So now if I try to get all users, it works. You can see I have 15 users in the database. All right, so that's it. I don't want to go too much more into this, but I think that this course is great for people that want to learn more about Node.js, Express, Mongo, as well as, of course, front end developers, whether you're a React developer, Vue, Angular, and you want to start to get into full stack, build your own APIs. Um, integrated database into your applications and so on. Uh, I think that you'll benefit from it. But that's it, guys. Thanks for watching, and hopefully, I'll see you in the course.